Hey, this is Chris the Idaho Painter here on Paint Life TV. Got um, the Magnum X7 hanging out with me, and then on the other side, we got Journeyman John. So, Journeyman John, we've been testing this thing out, and you know, Graco sent it to us just to let you know. Didn't cost us anything. Nope. They wanted us to test it out. This is what, where would you find typically a Magnum X7? So typically this is the kind of sprayer you're gonna find in like a do-it-yourself big box store. I know a number of them carry this or various versions of it, uh, but it's really geared towards kind of do-it-yourselfers or homeowners, right? So it's yeah. got about 150 gallon life per year. Um, and, and I really wouldn't push it past that. We're not gonna tell you that you might find this thing at the homes and the depots, but you might find one there. So, um, or, at, or at Lowy's. <laughs> at Lowy's, the homes and the depots are Lowy's. So it is, when you open the box, on the box itself, it doesn't show professional painters, it shows just kind of like homeowners using it, nobody in painting clothes. So I think it's geared and marketed towards the do-it-yourselfer, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, obviously we're professional painters, we just sprayed the entire exterior of this house with it. Yep. It worked, it got the job done, um, but it's it's definitely a bit slower than a professional model of sprayer. Here's one thing I really liked about it, because I'm getting old. I loaded it up in my truck all by myself and I only used one arm, tossed it in the back of the truck. It is super light. That's very light. So a, a little bit of what comes with the lightness is comes with durability too, but it's an airless sprayer and it will spray an airless finish, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. So I think if you are a homeowner who has, you know, several projects you think you got coming up, like if you wanted to do your fence or maybe spray a clear on your stonework, you could use it to spray the exterior of your house, um, interior trim, things like that, where you've just got some projects through the year that you're gonna wanna be able to pull it out on. It actually isn't a bad unit for that. Yep. There's one thing, key, it's rated for only 150 gallons a year. Mm -hmm. So that really tells you more to do it yourself first pump. If you're a professional painter and you only paint that much, I, that's not very much. We would do that in a week. So we would probably burn this pump up in, in a month at least but the value i mean it's the price it only costs i think like four or five hundred dollars right? yeah so i mean depending on where you're looking you're going to get anywhere from 350 to 450 somewhere in there kind of give or take but it, you know for the price it, it does the job that it says it's supposed to do it's loud it's really it's loud. really loud and it works constantly when you're um you're pulling the trigger and holding the trigger I did notice like it did finger and stuff and really we couldn't eliminate the fingering. I think that's some of the difference between, you know, a higher end pump versus a lower end pump that's working really hard. Mm -hmm. The features, it works just like an airless sprayer. It has a prime valve. It has a pressure gauge. The pressure gauge, there's nothing digital on it. You have no idea what your pressure truly is. There's nothing on here to indicate that. But um, it did have one really cool feature, how you clean it, right? Yeah, and actually we're thinking, we're trying to figure out a way to retrofit this on some of our other sprayers, but you can just hook a garden hose. You can take this rock guard off, hook a garden hose up to it and run water straight into it. And the nice part about the pressurized water going into the unit is it actually cleans it out faster. Yes. Like, really, really fast. And way faster than any pump we have ever used. Mm -hmm. So. Once again, it is what we would classify as a do-it-yourself sprayer. It's gonna spray you an airless finish. If you're a do-it-yourselfer, it's gonna be simple, easy to use. You're gonna be able to paint your house. There's a guy out there or a crew that makes videos that if you're a do-it-yourselfer, you can watch those videos and learn how oh to spray gosh. your own house. Who? I don't know. I think it's the guy's name. The crew is the Paint Life crew and the Idaho Man. Painters, something like that. Did you guys know that? If you didn't know that, go look it up on YouTube and you, and you might figure out how to use this thing if you don't use it. I do see an American flag on the left side. It is great, Carl. They do say it is made in the USA. 
of course, with the caveat of with global components, but what is it at this point? If it does burn out, you can use it to do bicep curls. True, and if it does burn out, we do know Graco actually does have pretty killer customer service. So they do. Uh, you know, they they uh, do back all of their products pretty well and, and do stand behind them. Um, but obviously, this unit has a special purpose, and and its purpose is definitely. Um, for a homeowner who has occasional painting projects. Um, Wayne, one final note, I noticed one of the bolts came out, the wing nut disappeared, so we're gonna have to go on a hunt for the wing nut, otherwise. I love scavenger hunts. So let's start our scavenger hunt. We'll get the crew, I'll offer them 20 bucks for whoever can find it, and we'll go from there. Hopefully you've ended, it, it, not ended, hopefully you- it Don't end. Enjoy uh, this be, video. I wouldn't be watching this anymore if we ended. <laughs> Why don't you sign us off, John? I'll put all the pressure on you. Well, thanks for watching. You can, of course, find us on Instagram, Facebook. We've got a couple videos on Facebook, especially using this and working through a few things. You can check that out. Just search for the Idaho Painter. As a gunslinger always says, out. Just spilled everywhere. <laughs>